So I'll call the meeting to order for the September 12th, 2022 select board meeting. We're starting the meeting at 6.11 p.m. Apologies for the tardiness at the start of this meeting. So the first item on the agenda is to organize the board and elect a chair of the select board, given the fact that we are down one member, Peter Peltz, who has resigned his position as chair. So I'd like to nominate Chris Codius to be the chair for this board, the two of us. <laughs> um, and it's a little bit awkward, but I will second yes, myself. Yeah, okay. Well, on favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, good. Okay. Done with that one. So first <coughs> is to organize the board. Chris Codius becomes chair of the Woodbury Select Board. The next is any adjustments that we have to the Select Board agenda. I believe that we may have some. I have one. Um, I talked with Mr. Spaulding from Swenson Granite a couple of weeks ago in the office, and we talked about what he would have things that he plans to do up at the quarry. And um, there was a little misunderstanding because he thought that I was just going to put him on the agenda, and I was waiting to hear from him to see if he wanted to be on the agenda. So here we are, and if there's no objections, I think we can add him to the agenda. Maybe after the treasurer's report. Any comments? Any or public objection? comment? We're still in the public comment phase. No, we're still on the adjustment to the select board right. agenda. We can okay. still do public comment. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. So we'll put that down here, like 6:30 or so. Well, it'll probably be a little later now. Anyways. Any other adjustments to the select board agenda? Other public comment? Hearing none, we can move to approve bills and payroll orders, which will be done. We'll do that later. Individually, after the chair, and at this point, the co chair has had a chance to review mm. those, those bills and orders. We need to approve minutes for the August 22nd meeting. I've reviewed them. Okay. And I'm willing to sign at okay. this point. You had a chance to review these. I did. Great. Several times. So you will be able to approve the minutes from the August 22nd meeting. Pass to Robin. Mrs. Durkee, would you take those, please? Thank you. Okay. So, uh, we're going to move to the board appointment via Chapter 24 VSA, Subchapter 6963 of a board appointment for a temporary committee person of the Town of Woodbury Select Board. I nominate Michael Gray. I'll second that nomination. Chris, quick question. Can you Go ahead, um, please. Uh, this is the perfect time. Go ahead, sir. At the last meeting, you mentioned you were going to we were going to meet and discuss the three options. I did review the three options. I'm sorry that I, if I said I was going to meet with you directly. Well, you were, I, no, we I was, didn't meet. I was understanding that you were going oh. to I understood that he was just going to you know review the process. I didn't realize that you and I were going to meet directly. No, no. no. I, was, I was under the assumption that you were going to together with Diana and. and oh, I can't do no. that. No. no. I can't do that. Well, you could if you if you wanted. Uh, yeah, but that seems unfair to me. 
as a select board of two people, right, she, anytime that she and I meet have to be in a public forum. Mm -hmm. I understand. So she and I were not able to okay. do that. So we independently reviewed VSA statutes mm -hmm. and we felt like appointing Michael Gray for this interim period where he has direct knowledge of what's happening on the select board already seemed like a really simple solution to an otherwise complicated problem. He has intimate knowledge of what's happening with a lot of the problems that we're dealing with right now. And I will let Michael speak as well as, as he's willing to, if he's willing sure. to. Um, because he has that intimate knowledge, it seemed like a reasonable appointment based on VSA statutes. No, absolutely. I mean, the board has all authority to pick what they want. We, we can, yeah, but just, we wanted to make sure that this was as transparent as possible. Right. And so I'm trying to make sure, Monty, that I'm not, we're not hiding anything right. here. We did not have a chance to talk, mostly because we didn't have a chance to talk, but even if we did, we really can't talk outside of no, a, a public comment period unless we warrant a meeting. Yeah. So we can't do that. But after independently reviewing these things, this is the conclusion that I came to independently. Apparently Diana came to the same conclusion. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to temporary, I mean, this is a temporary appointment. So it's a, it's a, it's a short term appointment. And you understand where I was coming from. I understand. I mean, Michael didn't want to get back on the board. And That's I, why he didn't run. And I, Nothing against Michael. I think he, he's done more than his more, fair share more, for this community. Yep. And he's and done a great he's, job. He, he's, and, and he still does more yeah, than he's does. supposed to. <laughs> yes. um, because he's a really nice, thoughtful person. Yeah. Right? Um, but he's Don't willing to. Don't let that to, go to your head. <laughs> 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 Thank you, Chuck. But uh, it seems to be the best possible person that we can have for this interim period to help us. I'm short time on the board. I I'm shorter. Even shorter. Longer time on the board. Still has a deep understanding of a lot of the different connections that we're doing with mm -hmm. outside funding organizations. He can help us to get things on a track because as acting chair, I still really shouldn't be chair. That's why now you're chair. And now I'm chair. <laughs> okay. So, um, Monty, I understand your, ex your 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 consideration. You made really good points. You all made great points at our last meeting as well. And I would love to train someone up. And that was one of your points. Can we train someone up so that they're ready for a select board? Of, you know election for ready for an appointment and my position was that we can take advantage of a depth of knowledge for the short period and then we'll have a fresh election and then we can train someone up but let's move through the work that we have to do now to make sure that town's moving forward as efficiently as possible um, so I'm sorry if that was long-winded but that's the explanation for my vote, personally. I'm not speaking for Diana in any way. So just briefly, um, you know, I, um, I did meet me off the board, um, and uh, I have been attending a good number of select board meetings anyway. Um, uh, and, um, you know, Peter and his family spoke to me and requested that I come back on for this little interim time, so I feel obligated to Peter especially, who um, did do run for that one-year term so that I could end my, my term early, so I kind of feel I owe him a debt that way. Um, and I won't be chair, I won't be doing the minutes, I won't be doing this and that, so um, you know, I'm still kind of nervous about it, but I, I have... Um, mm. I do have the eight years of experience, um, and with, I think you know, for the town, um, the last few months we're, we'll be coming into forming a new budget here pretty soon. Um, 
that I can, you know, I, I definitely am more than willing to do this um, until town meeting day. Um, and uh, so that's. Okay. Yeah, I think I said what I, yeah. my opinion last time. And I take all a right. vote. And I really appreciate the comments that you all made last time we met. And we definitely, I certainly took those into consideration. And I hope you will understand the position that we're coming from. So all those in favor of electing Michael Gray. Appointing. Appointing Michael Gray as, sorry, excuse me. <laughs> appointing Michael Gray as an interim Woodbury Select Board member. Please say aye. 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 So that's two. Michael Gray is now acting interim select board member. Michael, thank you very much for being willing to do this. We this really is appreciate a, it. I have another appointment that I could throw in here if it's not a problem for anybody. Uh, we didn't put that uh, into our yeah. adjustments. Okay, well, agenda. we can wait till next time. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's all right. But no, we didn't we put can. that into our adjustments. Um, do you want to tell us that? so that we can make sure that we're ready for it? Well, the, uh, I ran into our board member to CV Fiber, and I asked her if she really wanted to continue to do it because we had been told that she hasn't been very active and they really wanted somebody more active. So, so um, she would be glad to give it up, and, and Michael sounded like he'd be willing to take it on since he's already the... Uh, I... We talked about that last week. We did. Yeah. Um, I'm but we appointed him as an alternate. Uh, he's an alternate, right? He's now. an alternate. So. All right. So I'm unwilling to make that adjustment just yet. Okay. We can put that on our next week. Keep me as an alternate. We will keep Michael as an alternate for now. But yeah. once Michael's on the board, we can have a conversation about who can take up that, that position. I, I do have a conflict with, they meet the um, second Tuesday of every month, and that's the same time that the uh, Central Vermont Regional Planning Commission board meets. So, mm -hmm. um, so I need to try to work that out um, with them. Um, I think both, both of those meetings are pretty much set in stone. I, one starts half an hour earlier, and I let everyone, both boards, know of the, my conflict. Um, so it might behoove us to try to find somebody who lives out on the back room who would really benefit from yeah. CV fiber um, to get them involved. Mm -hmm. Is there but anyone? I, I, I will. I'll, I'm going to work. I'll be the alternate, and I will okay. attend the meetings. Um, we'll have a, You're going to have, have a conflict either we, way. Well, yeah, we're going to have a conflict right no matter what. Yeah. Is there anybody here in the public who would like to stand on the CV Fiber board for the time being as a second alternate, which we have an option to do? <laughs> Hearing none. Okay, put that off. Michael will remain the alternate for the CV Fiber <laughs> board. Thank you very much. Michael, thank you again and then for being on the step while we're up. talking about CE Fiber, they are having a webinar uh, next Wednesday evening to kind of explain um, the beginnings of the implementation that they'll be doing, which mm. includes Woodbury. Um, I can send people that information if they're if they'd like to um, sit in on that. I, I plan on. I think I did see that. Yeah. yeah. If we can find a way to get that on the town website. That would be okay, terrific. I'll send, mm. I'll send oh, that's I, would, I would like that very much. Or, or, um, um, yeah. We can have it in some sort of mechanism where we can have a link to it. Yeah, it's basically, I think it's, you attend it remotely. I don't think it's really a physical meeting. Anymore. I think that if we get it out there, mm -hmm. especially for the West mm -hmm. Woodbury folks, mm -hmm. it would be really useful. Okay. Um, they are going to be served pretty importantly mm -hmm. by CV Fiber. So. Okay. So it is now 6:25. We should be time for the town clerk's report. We're a little bit late, but mm, pretty close. Um, <laughs> can we do the town clerk's report, please, Mr. Turkey? Yep. The coordinates are pretty much up. Getting caught up from. The preliminary election. Mm -hmm. Now they're starting to send all the information out for the general election in November. 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 Yeah. So, 
and we also got a public water system contract for the school. I had sent it to Larry Eldridge, who had sent it on to the new operator, and I got an email back from, I think his name is Joe, telling me that one of the townspeople needs to sign this, because we're the ones that own the system. That's true. So okay. is it select board chair that signs that? I would think the select board chair would be the person. It sign. may be. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, Ms. Durkee. I haven't seen this at all, so okay. it's going to take me a minute to yeah. take a look over it. Um, I can explain this a little bit. Um, this is a yearly thing. Right. Um, and the town does own the spring as it owns the school and the property. Adjacent. Um, the, the school totally manages it 100%. They don't own the property, but they own the right to the spring. They own the right to the spring. Right. Um, so it does require a town signature, um, but it's pretty much that's that's the limit of the town's responsibility. So they did find a new operator since Larry resigned that post. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Have had anybody met with Joseph Houston? He's the operator. I have not School okay. people must have. Yeah. I'm going to wait until I meet with these people, if that's all right with you. Sure. Um, I'd like to have a conversation about this. Not that there's anything wrong with that system being used by a townsperson as well as by the school, but we're in an interesting position with the school at this point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'd like to review that before yeah, the water, I sign the, it. The library and, and this room also run off the same well system. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, thank you, Mrs. Drake. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I have received many complaints about the furniture that's up at the top of Cabot Road where it connects to Flat Street. There's a couch, a chair, a TV up there, and they're wondering if the town can make it disappear. Okay, so abandoned furniture on Flat Street. Yes. You put that on the road report too. <laughs> for commissioner. <laughs> Don't put it on the road. I mean, who's got a truck? <laughs> Don't put it on the road, commissioner. Be back on there long. <laughs> okay, so got to hire a truck. Apparently, that's fine. Uh, Mrs. Jerky, anything else? Today was up? a very large learning experience. I had to deal with David Sawyer's green burial today. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Where's so, that going to be? Since we're buried. Yep. So much here. Really? Yeah, it was this afternoon. Yeah, it already happened. It was today. Oh, they already did. Oh. They yep. did make it happen? Yep. They did. Wow. Yeah. So at 2 o'clock, it was 4 o'clock, or 4.30, but it happened. Mm. Yep. Good day. Wow. Mm. Thank you for helping with that. So how did they, so without any rules and regulations, they managed to? Yeah, we had to get um, Harvard Health Center involved in it for mm -hmm. the doctor part doctor. of it. Yeah. 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 Then there was a section that the town had to fill out. Mm -hmm. There was a section that Susan herself had to fill out, mm -hmm. and it all had to get to the health department so they mm -hmm. could do the death certificate. Mm -hmm. And then we could do the burial transit report. Was it a... A lot that they had already purchased, or no, they did that today. Oh, oh wow, yeah, it was the first green burial. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is it in a, another section of the? It's a unique section cemetery? of the cemetery. Oh, good. Yep. Okay. Well, thank you for that work. Well, it was very sad to hear that David had passed. He was. A stalwart in the listing department of Woodbury for many, many, many years, maybe as many as 20, I don't know, a long, and long time. still count on his cards. Yes. Still <laughs> <laughs> yeah. His notes were immaculate. We're immaculate. Yeah, really. He has a photograph pretty, pretty uh, fantastic town country. office by the Lister desk of our camp on Nichols Pond. Where he borrowed the boat and rode across the pond to do a, a, an assessment of the camp wow. and then took a picture. <laughs> yeah, and mm. Anna out to Hyper Health Center was very helpful with the whole process. Really? My wife. I just I heard the voice. I said, I'm sure that's the same voice when we were picking up for preschool. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> she was very helpful. Yep. Oh, she knows her stuff, which is great. I'm yeah. glad that it worked out mm. well. How old was he? Nine, what did Susan tell me? 96. 96, I think. 36, it said on the Facebook thing, which would only make him... Mm-hmm. He was in his 90s. 86 something. He was in, I think he was in his early 90s. Mm. As far as I can remember. But I could be wrong. Once mm. again, I apologize. He, but he was, a, he was a terribly nice, oh, God, terribly nice man. Yeah. Yeah. Terribly nice man. When he went up to assess my, my hunt camp, he dropped me a note <laughs> and saying what a nice hunt camp it was. And I can't remember everything he said. It was just a nice little home. Yeah. He left with it. Yeah. Yeah. He was a thoughtful guy who knew his woods. Mm-hmm. Which I... Always appreciated. When you first come to town, he had a Model A Ford pickup. Pickup. Yeah. Yeah, really. I don't know where it ever went to, but boy, it was in nice shape then. (laughs) Well, we'll miss him. Mm -hmm. Put that on record. And then I received from Vermont Natural Resources a water quality certification with the United States Army Corps of Engineering. It says it's a draft. Yes, ma'am. So there is that. Thank you. I've been looking for that for a little bit. Mm. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Uh, this is probably not the most appropriate time, but I will say that because we're in a public watershed and we have infrastructure that is involved in that watershed, even though we don't take advantage of the Army Corps of Engineers, we're supposed to review the draft guidelines when they change them. Mm. Um, I've asked for this a number of times, so now we have it. Okay. Thank you. Do you want me to send that forward the email? So would you, you mind? Have, yeah, would you mind sending that as well? Because mm. I can work with both of those at the same time. That would be really mm. helpful for me because then I can get back to our district manager for Army Corps of Engineers. Okay. They mostly are in the western part of the state. There's something going on. So, Chris, is that for both the Winooski and the Limoyle watersheds? It's for both the watersheds, okay. because we actually have a drainage divide in town. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right, so we split between the Winooski and the Limoyle in town. They both end up in Lake Champlain. Mm-hmm. But their immediate drainage divide is actually here in town and through West Woodbury. So um, they do pay attention to us at least a little bit, but uh, only because I begged for it. Thank you, Mrs. Mm-hmm. Turkey. You're welcome. Uh, I didn't realize it was going to have to be stuck on you. I thought they would actually contact me directly. But maybe now they will. <laughs> so do you, do, you have, do they tell you what's changed in the draft, or do you have to figure that out? I have to figure that out myself. <laughs> oh, jeez. But that's okay. I yeah, okay. I <laughs> you seem out. familiar with it. That's good. I, I'm reasonably familiar. Familiar yeah. enough to be dangerous. <laughs> I shouldn't probably say that on camera. Okay. Um, Mrs. Durkee, anything else? Or can we move, no, move on? Be, yeah. All right. Thank you, miss. Really appreciate it. Mm-hmm. Um, we were going to have Kevin. Is that for next week? Well, we can have Tread Town Treasures first, and then we put Kevin in after... Okay. After Brandy. All right. Miss Brandy, would you mind doing the town treasurer's report, yep. please? Payroll. So we have a three week lap here um, $9,479.56. AP over the last three weeks, $30,722.16. And mostly property tax. I have taken in. $293,912.36. We had a state payment transfer in of $652, which is part of the, the um, state of Vermont property taxes as far as current use. Um, I have transferred $275,000 from the checking account over to the money market. Um, So August 25th, and I did not bring a copy of it with me. I forwarded it to you guys. It was Gillespie's fuel prices. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, So that needs to be signed, approved. Um, Yeah, we have to review that. Did you get any others this year? We didn't get any other quotes. The only comparable one I have is Blue Flame from Mike McGlynn's, and I'm 10 cents under. But that's only for... 
gas, and That's I think you have to use propane. Right, and sure. so I think you have to use 500 gallons or at the minimum. There's a minimum. Yeah, yeah. Right. I don't. Yeah. So currently, we have over at the garage. It is Gillespie's tank. Um, and out here at the town hall. Yep. Chuck, any problems that you've had with Gillespie's? No, no, no. Service is good. Yeah. Tanks in good shape. Yeah. Well, it's brand, brand new. new. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Well, I'm brand new is in like a year. Yeah. Okay. So as long it's as it's wall. still good. Oh yeah. All right. Well, the gas it doesn't. They don't last that long. Well, this Sometimes. is above ground, so it's okay. Yep. Yeah. Right up. Slab was It's a slab. Yep. It's yeah. fresh slab. Yeah. That's yeah. the one that's that a, we set up. A yeah. Over it. Yeah. Okay. Over it. So yes. this um, is the Gillespie estimate is for both gas and diesel. Oil and propane. Oh, okay, okay. I thought that's you were right. talking about right. propane. Okay. They cannot do it on diesel. <coughs> it fluctuates. Yeah. yeah. It fluctuates too much. So as long as mm -hmm. I can pay in full for four thousand of propane and. A thousand of oil. Um, yeah, we can get be locked in at one eighty five. Four thousand gallons. Four thousand gallons. That's the right and one thousand of oil. You have no complaints no. about using that service. No. Right? I don't know. Because it's between you all in a lot of ways, and mm -hmm. we just want to make sure that as long no. as Gillespie has been great mm -hmm. to us, as far yeah. as I know, yeah. on my yeah. short time on the board, I they've have always been great to, to us. Mm -hmm. So let's stick with it. Mm -hmm. And um, as soon as I see it, I'm going to sign off on that. And I don't think Miss Diana is going to have too much. I don't trouble. think. Uh, yeah. Does board just, usually sign off on that, or do yes. you handle? We have to sign off on yep. it. Yep. Uh, the other thing. Um, so we received uh, our third installment from the ARPA, which was forty-six thousand two hundred nineteen dollars and sixty-five cents. So that is um, your due to due from. You'll see the ARPA money. Um, is increased. So question for the board since the broadband was approved when do I count the check since there's a deadline of I believe the 18th? We have uh, we are going to sign those papers later and get them to the CB Fiber board by tomorrow because they have a meeting. With the check or? No this is just the approval and then they're going to send an invoice. Okay. Okay. Yeah, they'll invoice us Perfect. after mm -hmm. we sign the approval. We yeah. already approved it, but we right. had to get the paperwork to sign it. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's as far as we've gone mm -hmm. at this so, point. Randy, the $46,000 of ARPA money, is that an additional amount to what we were originally allotted, or is it just a, an installment? Just okay. an installment. Okay. Okay. That's, yep. one that's more and that'll we, that's we're done. we get one more and then we're done. But this can't be a quarter of it, right? Because Four times this would not come up no. to what? The first yeah. initial one was 80000 mm -hmm. and then they broke. From that point on, then they started breaking it down. Yep. So this is the second at this rate. The first one was a nice big chunk. And, we've, and then they slowed so it down. So is our total going to be less than $200,000? It should be 263000 yeah. I thought so. Yeah. 263 is what we should yeah. end up with. Mm -hmm. I had a meeting with the Northfield um, Select Board today. Mm -hmm. They got a lot more than 1. we did. <laughs> yeah, they got almost two million dollars. Whoa! Yeah, they got almost two million dollars. They have a larger population. Right. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. They have they have cops. They have fire department. They have you know. I mean, so it's a little bit different. But they are still really struggling as to mm -hmm. how they're going to move their money and how to use Sunday it. Meeting. They were. Mm. So had a meeting with those folks about a, a totally different conversation. They have a, a larger river running through town, oh. tropical storm, Irene, mm -hmm. wreaked havoc yeah. in Northfield. And so they're working about like resilience issues, things oh. like that, to mm -hmm. build up around the river. Mm. So it's a different conversation. But I just want to say, because we haven't spent the money yet, doesn't mean that we're not thinking about it and doing right. it diligently. Mm -hmm. Right? There are a lot of towns mm. that are sort of taking their time mm -hmm. and to make sure that we're spending the money appropriately. Mm -hmm. And I think that, I just want to say it, mm. because we're not spending it right now, that's a good thing. It is. Mm -hmm. That's a good thing. Mm. We don't need to rush this. No. All right? Not at all. We don't need to rush this. We had an ARPA committee. They gave us some great guidance. We had a town survey. 
gave us ter tremendous guidance about what at least a component of the town had to say. But it doesn't mean we have to spend the money right this second. We've got, we've got time. So let's not push this too hard. Mm -hmm. All right? That's just one person on your select board speaking. <laughs> All right? Okay. Miss Brandy, mm -hmm. anything else to add? No. Okay. So I just want to say, as far as Kevin goes, um, I did tell him that you know we won't be making any decisions on anything tonight. That's why he was encouraged to come and give us a preliminary review of what he's going to be asking for. All right. <laughs> no, please. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you. <laughs> I, will, I will say that I have a slight conflict of interest. I'm a Norwich University professor. Kevin and I know each other independently of this environment. Yeah, so being a central Vermont Woodbury, I think everybody knows somebody. So yeah, I don't know if it's that's a, right. It's necessarily that. <laughs> Um, for those who don't Kevin, thank you for being here. Oh, really thanks, for, thanks for having me. I apologize for the miscommunication. That was on my part. Um, so uh, a couple weeks ago, um, I visited with uh, Robin in the, uh, in the uh, uh, town office and uh, asked the question as to what the status of what's referred to as uh, Town Highway 29. So um, probably uh, the way to best describe it is the new entrance to uh, the quarry. Uh, that we uh, put into place this past winter and uh, is currently in operation. So that uh, entrance takes advantage of what was the roadbed of Town Highway 29. Um, and it's uh, still there, of course. Our road kind of break, uh, breaks off of it, goes up to the quarry area. Uh, the, the, the question, uh, the, the thing that I was bringing to your attention for discussion is that um, on the second page of the handout that I gave you, uh, it's kind of an over an aerial view of the uh, of the uh, quarry itself, and I highlighted in yellow the, uh, the the start, and you can kind of see the outline of what is now the road that leads up to the quarry. This was uh, prior to the actual installation. So yeah, we don't have an actual one. Uh, oh, you sure. can take mine, Monty. Take mine. Sure. I actually know this by heart. Okay, right. so that's fine. So the. Um, this particular area um, is something that, uh, down below the quarry, from a watershed perspective, um, uh, we work with TCE, uh, Trudeau um, Cullen, uh, and they have been they developed our SWIP, our stormwater um, uh, prevention plan, and um, one of the things that we wanted to do is put in some a means to better manage stormwater coming off the side of the hill. And their proposal is one that would ultimately take into uh, an entrapment area that would, in fact, or could, in fact, cross that road. So the, the question we had was whether or not, so the first question was whether or not there'd be uh, a possibility for us to um, uh, ask the town to, for the discontinuation of the recognition of DH-29. Um, that said, you know, there has been some subsequent discussion as to whether or not it could be taken off of, a, of being recognized as a, a roadway, per se, and um, maybe recognized as a recreational trail. The reason we're asking for this is that in order for us to file a, um, a change to our Act, two, Act 250 permit to, to put in this area, crossing a recognized town highway would make it infinitely harder to do. So that is why we're trying to uh, see if whether or not the opportunity to do either discontinue it or find a way in which we could maybe access that area. Um, we understand, that, of course, that it is used by people in the community for hiking and getting around the, the, the mountain area. Um, that's continued. I, I, when we put in the new road, um, People, members of the public had, had um, asked, you know, will that area be cut off? Um, aside from the gate that we put in um, with the 
the, uh, I won't say the blessing, actually the neighbor across the street asked for the gate to be put in to keep uh, people from going in the area and, and otherwise uh, partying or dumping trash and stuff like that. You know, we still see evidence, of course, of people walking dogs, riding bikes and stuff like that, which is fine. Um, so there, there is a uh, Title 19 under Highways uh, 708 petition, and it basically says a person who is a landowner in a town desiring to have an unidentified corridor which passes through or abuts his or her land discontinued or altered may apply in writing to the select board for that purpose. The select board may also initiate these proceedings on its own motion. So that's what we, I can add copies of that too, if you're familiar with that. The only reason I bring it in is that's what we referenced in coming mm -hmm. here tonight. That's so. the most appropriate reference, okay. actually. There is, there is another step um, in uh, reclassifying the okay. road from class four um, to trail. And the uh, reclassified as a trail. Yeah, class four to trail. How that would uh, you know what the and in that way the town still owns the property where the road is um, you know the next, the next right of way um, it kind of leaves the town of any responsibility at all for the road um, there are a few responsibilities nowadays for class four roads one of them being erosion um, so if this is I, you know I don't know what the issue would be. If you're trying to um, uh, resolve different runoff issues, um, I don't see how anyone's going to give you any trouble over that. It would be worth maybe looking into. Um, well, have you looked at um, the possibility of rerouting? Maybe if it was a downgraded to a trail, then you could reroute it around your stormwater entrapment area. I don't know the well, terrain there. I mean, it would be hard to, and expensive to reroute a whole road, but if it's a trail, it might not. Hmm? Yeah, the, the, if you're not familiar with it, the, the, nope. it is definitely recognizable as, a, as an old road. You know, mm -hmm. it, not, it was a clear road road, road bed. Not, it's no, not drivable. Right, no. okay. But it it's is an accessible. old road bed, but yeah, exactly. it's clearly an old road. Uh, but, you want, but you want to build something right in it. Right? Uh, potentially, yeah. and, and when we lay out the the you know the best area to to um, provide for the, for the solution we need or want, then if it does go and cross this recognized town highway, then the state gets involved. You know, and, and I don't. It's it's a bit more than I can honestly speak to right now. I that's why we we have our consultant that that's helped us, but um, this is just a means of. Of starting the discussion, um, which we appreciate. the The idea of a recreational trail that would be built off to the side of it, I think, is something that we would, you know, be would you consider that for for certain? I think the only okay. thing that we would want is have the ability to, depending on how it ultimately laid out, if it did in fact have to be on, say, part of the roadway initially, that um, access to it would be limited to off business hours just because we wouldn't want to have anybody be in the line of traffic. We haven't had an issue at all. We haven't had anybody walking down mm -hmm. the road while a truck was coming or going uh, for that matter. But, you know, we recognize it is, is it's, mm -hmm. it's become an asset to... It's uh, a town asset. To, to yeah. people in the immediate vicinity and, and others for that matter. So Yeah, I don't know how we could do that. What, what is the... Can you tell us a little bit about the entrapment... Um, um, what are you thinking of, like a catch basin, like we do on our roads with stone lines? Or? It's going to be similar to the one that we have in place right now that was right. part of our um, uh, road uh, uh, permit process. It's a it would be similar so to that. So yeah. a grout lined. Exactly. So grout be, it would be similar to that, pond. but a bit bigger. Okay. Mm -hmm. It would be on the other side of the road from the quarry down towards Pickett Pond. Um, it would actually be part of it could potentially cross that yellow line. It, yeah, it goes adjacent and okay. over potentially that yellow uh, line. Go down much further. Than that. Miss Brandy. Has the landowner been talked to about it? Since on the other side of our road is an out of stater that owns that property. There, but it's all on. It's all on our property. In your property. Well, no. But you said you'd be crossing the yellow line. The, the town yeah, road. That's the town road. TH29 is, is it, fully on the... Is, the it, it, it's the all town road. 
Right. But Which isn't the cabinet road. No, no, no. But the landowner, once you go down the trail on the right-hand side, that's a different landowner. And, no. And no, mm. I don't think that this has gone beyond this no, conversation so far right now. Yeah. It's still in the black line. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So we, Sorry. So, so no, we haven't had that conversation. The property one's a bit better. It's fine. Monty, please. Just, uh, the class four road, does that continue on past the yellow? Yes, it does. It, it does. does. It goes, it goes all the way at, around. It, yeah, uh, it, more or less. It, if you it, look at the first page, uh, do I have another one? I don't have another one of it, that. Off it does now. actually wrap around. Okay. It disappears into yeah. the scrub. Yeah, but is that actually town road? Well, it's still classified that way. So is classified that, how can we? Four? It's classified as a class four right now. Okay. Well, but I think mm -hmm. this is part of Kevin's point. We probably should review these designations. No. We agreed that we weren't making any decisions tonight. Yeah. This yeah. is an informational yeah. session that Kevin mm -hmm. is giving us. Yeah. I think that we need to review some of the classifications on these roads before we can really make any mm -hmm. concrete it, it, decisions. If you look at the first page, it recognizes half a mile long. Right. So from the Cabot Road, yeah. it extends a half a mile, half a mile. around it. Mm -hmm. yeah. so, and the other parts of the road could have been already discontinued? or I think when you go all the way around, yeah, you end up back in the... Uh, and turn around back in the old yeah. turnaround yeah. section yeah. at the and top of the going, of, of the old court. You go right through here and then around. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. yeah, I used to do it with my Jeep. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. it was passable. It was passable. It's not. But it's still on, on the Swenson land. land. What's that? It's still on your land. The part that yeah. it's probably not property. a town road, it's just an old road. It's an old road. Yeah. 100% uh, on yeah. It's all on their property. And you're not planning to block that off or anything? No. Good. And you know, trying to find out what's what for some of these roads that haven't been used for years is a <laughs> right. nightmare down in our town. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> it's a it's a it's a pace and compass. You walk it and match it. That's what we ha would have well, to do. The, the but the reality is, they've been discontinued. Determining who actually, whether it's we just all don't town have road it or it's been discontinued mm -hmm. in the past, different sections of it. Mm -hmm. um, they've been abandoned. Oh, it was. Uh, but in any case, <laughs> in any case, what you're side by side. What you're proposing would be on this first half mile. E, yeah. So I tried to, the yellow is, would be where there could be a potential crossing. Crossing. Right. Aside from that, oh, okay. it would continue to be in its its entirety. So would it be the pond itself that crossed the road, or would it be the discharge? A portion of the pond could potentially cross the road, mm -hmm. right. and the discharge could certainly be go under the road or be part of right. the road. So would you have a culvert underneath that? It, it would have to be designed. It would That's, have to be designed. This is just yeah. the, I'm sure it would be a standpipe. Yeah. It's, this is more of is what can we possibly do to route around that? Um, I don't know whether or not we designate a portion of it as a recreational trail and continue to leave it as PH29 because it goes around and picks up what is referred to as the Fletcher Quarry Road, now Swenson Quarry Road. Road, and it, yeah. that is, of course, a road that, that we maintain from mm -hmm. the Cabot Road all the way all up. Way over. There, there could be some type of memorandum of understanding if we were, the town were to t totally discontinue the road. Um, and I don't know, maybe the people that are doing the work on this, um, you know, if they could look into, if the town were to reclassify as a trail, and you're talking about a recreational trail, um, which would still allow the town to maintain the ownership of that section of road. Mm -hmm. um, the question of uh, discontinuing any class four roads came up at the last meeting and a couple of people said that we shouldn't be thinking about discontinuing yes, any roads. A lot of people think that way. <laughs> yep. I think when Cabot Road, when Irene hit, um, that class four saved our ass. Yeah. Because we have access back to the no. Cabot Road. Not the one the old Quarry Road. Old Quarry Road. Oh, we're no, no, no. Yeah. I, I, I realize that. My no. point is, is that they're needed still. I right. mean, you may mm -hmm. not think they're needed. Mm -hmm. But reclassifying those is problematic. Yeah, you know, that's, that's kind, kind of the it's thinking. Gonna, a pub, I, yeah. I think it's a public issue. Alone, it, yeah. it's going to mm -hmm. be. I think it's a public issue. And I think that that's. Once you that's, discontinue it, it reverts back to the right. whoever owns the property mm -hmm. where the road is, and it's really hard yep. to reestablish. Reestablish that. But, but Michael, if you if you put down the trail, 
Later on, you can bring it back up. Yes. Correct? If, the if the you, town would still own the right of way. Yeah, if it doesn't hit as a trail, mm -hmm. the town would still own the right of way. There's only going to be one problem with that. If it goes across across the middle of the pond, it ain't going to work good. <laughs> right. Well, that's, well, that's, that's why, why I asked about whether they could just fill a trail yeah, around it. make a pond there. I mean, they're going to have to deal with getting across it, too, because that's how you're going to get to the quarry. Oh, no, this no, would be no, quarry. This is past the turn This is past the turn off. Okay. Yeah. This would just, just be a, an access yeah. issue. This is an access yeah. issue. Mm. Yeah. This, is the, this, this is the new part that's it. The new yeah. yeah, no, no. So the new entrance comes up here and then it moves up. And that's the road there. Yeah. Okay. This all over here is, is not used. Okay. And this is what you're asking the town to consider to discontinue. Passing. That would be the area in yellow, would be the yeah. area that would potentially impact. Is, right the is there room on um, the, the uh, west side of the road, the road to make the total and traffic not on without road. having to go across the road? Again, yeah. it comes back to the design the process. Is so I guess. Stand they would like the opportunity to utilize the that it's over, if they it continues to. around. It's kind of like a crescent Excuse shape. me. Oh. Sorry, we're talking over yep. each other. I apologize. <laughs> okay. um, Mr. Spall, do you have a time frame for us to get back to you? For us well, to he hasn't, done, to hasn't given us a proposal yet, so... No. Well, it's a conversation. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. right. No, the, the whole point tonight was just to see what direction, and, you know, I... The, the discontinuation is is one that was offered as a solution via state statute, I guess. Right. But yeah. in the discussion here, you know, we also did recognize that establishing it as our, our reclassifying that area as a recreational trail would allow us to 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 potentially build the the solution we need, and at the same time allow for the continued public access um, that's already being. Utilize. Yeah, I mean, if we if we were to reclassify that section of road um, to a trail, and Swenson Quarry were willing to build some type of um, I'll call it a bridge, for lack of a better word, some way for people to continue down that road without going into the uh, catch basin. Um, you know, that seems like a at this point in time, uh, first thought on a, a solution to this. Um, I, think, I think with, with you know, taking away from what we've discussed tonight, it, if I haven't heard wrong, I could say that, that the board and the town is open to a possible reclassification to a recreational trail and then subsequently come up with a proposal that would show how that may, mm -hmm. may work and where everything would lay out. Mm -hmm. And then go from there. Yeah. I think we're willing to entertain those sorts of discussions. Yeah. Now, Michael, certainly. you'd worked on the reclass, the downgrading of the road from Buck Lake, and that yes. turned into quite a, quite a uh, process. But there were more adjoiners. I think that's probably why it was. Yeah, got were, complicated. You know, a lot of people. Well, there's actually two sides of an issue there. Um, <laughs> Some one property owner was thinking, well, if it becomes a trail, it's like the long trail, and there'll be all kinds of people going through there. They, you know, trail to them was a like a public access hiking trail, um, and then other folks um, were worried about, um, you know, accessing the road with the ATVs and things like mm -hmm. that. Um, That's my question right there. What is your definition of a recreational trail? It's just a trail. It's not a really recreational trail. It's a trail. That's what he said. I know, but in the sta at the statutes, I think it's uh, uh, class four can be downgraded to a trail, and then it is open for recreation according to the yeah. statutes. You know, well, well, recreation, recreation can be a dirt bike. It can be a yeah, it can be side. an ATV. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. All, all class four roads are legally and trails. Two trails. For ATVs for, or any yeah. off-road snow vehicles. machines, any off-road yeah. vehicles, horses, town, yeah. with no gates, right? Yeah, not gated, not yeah. gated, not gated, unless the town passes an ordinance of for a place. specific location. Yeah. So, anyways, so Michael, the reason I brought that up about Buck Lake was just to just to point out that if this was all on one landowner's land, it wouldn't be as complicated. That's right. all. <laughs> yeah, there were so. 
Yeah. What would Rockamage's definition of a recreational trail be? Well, it goes back to what the state considers a class four road, class four road. and a recreational trail. Um, for us, the gate went at the end of the road because our neighbor asked for that, and it was kind of a, a, a request before that was actually approved. That's so, the new road? The mm -hmm. new road. Who, yeah. approved, who approved the gate? No, uh, we were asked the select board at the Act 250 plan. We were asked to put it in. That was Kyle. Kyle. Kylie, Kylie Briggs Kylie asked, asked for that there be some kind of it's a restriction. You cannot put a gate yeah. on a class board. Technically, road. technically you just, can't get no. it. We can't get it. Yeah. yeah. So it was never. There is, there so is, that was, was on There is a type of gate that I won't, I'm trying to think of the term of it. Um, it can't be locked. Um, it has a particular name that you can put up, but that's happening. Like a pent road. Yeah. Pent road. There you go. So, Thank Chuck, you. can you get through there now if you want to go through there on your ATV? Well, yeah. Around, the, around the, gate. the gate? Oh, okay. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, I don't know if I could get around the gate or not. I have a look. Oh, okay. I thought um, maybe you had. Our okay. original no. proposal had yeah. the gate up. The road, yeah, oh, yeah. and yeah. not to interfere. So where the where the TH29 goes out, we came off of that. Our original proposal for the, the for the select board for the town was the gate at that location, mm -hmm. and then we were asked to move it to, up move to it Cabot back. Road to yeah. keep people going in and partying yeah. and, and, and and you know like other spots in town. I just, I know very well from speaking with Kylie. Uh, uh, he and his wife's concerns, and that was becoming another one of our drug hot spots. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. And a lot, there was we some weird know. shooting going on. There, there were some strange issues that yeah. were there. So oh, yeah. we, we had to clean up quite a bit of uh, dumping. There was. Uh, oh, we'd we go out there with a the Jeep, and there'd be people just sleeping in tents, just yeah. randomly. Yeah. Yeah. Our tents yeah. and, and everything down there. We found a like a brand new set of Subaru rims down there with the tires on it. We didn't think they were being stored there. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody <laughs> didn't have enough room in their garage. Yeah, <laughs> they thought we had to be just uh, left in the woods for uh, mm -hmm. someone to find. But, yeah. um, so, so no, I mean, I, I, and, you know, I, before we get started here, I was at, you know, sharing a bit about one of my hobbies, which is going you know, uh, bike packing and adventure cycling, and, and that's 100%. We make a lot of our maps off Class 4 roads. So I'm not, I can't sit here and say, hey, let's shut down recreation because I'm the guy that's going to come up and say, hey, yeah, there's a gate here, but I know that it's not supposed to be here, so I'm going to go around it. And sometimes people mm -hmm. get angry and sometimes they don't, but I kind of hang my hat mm -hmm. on the statute that I think you referenced that. Mm -hmm. I haven't looked at it that closely, but it does look like it's totally gated off our. Town Highway. Yeah. Oh, no, it is 100%. No? Yeah. Oh, really? So you can't go through there totally at all? So you never got permission from the town to do that? We were actually asked by the town, a resident to do No, that. a during resident. The, well, during yeah, the meeting, the 250 meeting, but they, they brought it up and it was... Right, I realized that, but uh, one of the but to do so. something on a town road, you're supposed to have oh, special one permission. One but anyway. It was one of the conditions of the, of the permit. I don't remember that. But. It was one of the conditions of the permit. Oh, the Act 250 okay. permit. Okay. It's one of the permit conditions. Fair no. We were asked. <laughs> so what would happen about getting around the gate? Uh, would the recreation trail go right to the cabin road? I mean, we could move the gate up to where we had originally proposed it, potentially. We could, if we can change that area where the we could impact it, that we could route the trail yeah. around it. Um, I would think that would be the best choice. But yeah. mm -hmm. I mean, I can see why you don't want people up that road. And you know, on the rail trail, they have a special mm -hmm. kind of gate that pretty much allows ATVs to go through, but nothing much bigger. So that That's might true. be a yeah. No, we we um, mm -hmm. I'm uh, uh, one of my other jobs are, is is uh, working with Millstone Trails uh, in Barry, mm -hmm. and we put up yeah. a gate recently that allows for um, we have a snow machine that makes it through for grooming, for but we don't want to have a truck, so. I think if you're you're a side by side user, I think there's a there's a width. They're getting there bigger. Width. They're getting bigger and bigger. Mm -hmm. but yeah. There's Races a way in which you can yeah you can yeah. establish a, a road through there. I mean, mm -hmm. we um, as far as access to the quarry, you know, we are uh, from an MSHA standpoint, you know, we're required to have a gate for entrance into uh, property that's governed by Mine Safety and Health mm -hmm. Administration. Mm -hmm. But outside of that, I mean, we're, 
I mean, I, I'm speaking for myself, and, and again, I would want to go back and, and talk about this with, with other representatives of Swenson Granite, but, you know, people using the area and, and treating it well and not dumping stuff and mm -hmm. doing drugs and doing all that stuff, I mean, I, it doesn't bother us. It's not taking away from mm -hmm. our, uh, the utility that the land's providing us. Mm -hmm. you know? Do you have another, like, uh, a, a gate on the, the uh, once you turn off the uh, Class 4 road? No. No, you don't have a gate there. No. There's just That's, one gate. There's only one, one gate. One gate. Okay. No. Well, there's one on the railroad tracks. Yeah. Up on the turn around. That's... That's the vast, though. Yeah. But that's not... Well, the old entrance... Oh, the old entrance that's does. Yeah. You've got to get there. Yeah, but so if you go yeah. in the old entrance, there's one that goes down. That's barricaded off with a gate. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. been like that since I started. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's been there for... Over 20 years. 20, it's been 30 years, years yeah. right? Yeah. I mean, that's been there forever. Yeah. I think that's a different... That's a different animal. But that's okay. It's we need that like, one. Um, oh, we should have uh, this one on our agenda. Let Kevin come back. So of course. Other people interested in. Yeah, this of course. So Kevin, are we willing to come back? Oh no, After I, 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 think the, I think the 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 intent of this meeting was has been fulfilled. That you know we've got a you know there's an interest in pursuing this. There's Absolutely. There's clearly um, some some um, concern or interest in maintaining access to the road, and what I can do is share that and come up with a plan that kind of mm -hmm. maps this out and says, okay, this is what we would propose, and then that would be something that could be actionable. Just from an environmental uh, perspective, I think it should happen. Right. I agree with Chuck mm -hmm. on that. Yeah. The whole point of this is to maintain more control of water. Right. Uh, water flow and yeah. integrity of water orientation. And so. going down through to the watershed as it's established. Yeah. Right. Will this uh, pond have any out? Outlet? Yes. Yes, has to. And we have to have an appropriate discharge permit through the state. So we then monitor. Typically, we monitor. For so then somebody, something would have to go over. I mean, if you. Well, no, it looks like this little one we put in over here. Yeah. It'll collect it all. Uh huh. And yeah. if it gets, say, like a hundred year storm, mm -hmm. it'll go through the discharge. Mm -hmm. If not, hopefully it'll contain it all. And it'll soak out. Right. Mm -hmm. So the goal is to get as much as possible into the groundwater. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. And in a place like that, where you have fractured bedrock, mm -hmm. that? it actually and flows fairly efficiently through the ground. Trap any sediment. That, right. That, mm -hmm. Which would have to be cleaned periodically. Mm -hmm. and typically, what we're required to uh, the biggest one that we are uh, monitoring is total suspended solids, TSS, and TSS, then, and then and then uh, uh, the phosphorus. Yeah, phosphorus yeah. is... And one. phosphorus and mm -hmm. nitrogen sometimes, yeah. but in a case like yours, it's phosphorus only, yeah. as far as I so it, recall. It, yeah. So, and we are, uh, under our SWIP, we have to uh, monitor those and, and submit our... Uh, it, you have to do it on a regular basis. Quarterly. Right, it's a yeah. quarterly basis mm -hmm. that SWIPs have to yeah. be submitted. So, it's not like... It's mm -hmm. going to be reviewed, yeah. actually, oh, no, more stringently than we could ever do it on our own. In yeah. Coventry, I know all yeah. about wastewater, <laughs> so, runoff water. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Now, as, you know, you were mentioning before, with the Lake Champlain Basin, you get into the three-acre rule that's now being uh, yeah. put into place. Mm -hmm. Put into place. That's yeah. a, and that affects towns. Mm -hmm. That affects. So if you have any roadways that do have discharge points or do go toward the Lake Champlain Basin, you know, all those are going to be included. Yeah, Definitely. That's, that's what the municipal road roads roads grant is all about, yeah. the permits and the grants. Are about. So do you have any design plans yet? No, it, this was going to start with this discussion. If you came yeah. in and said there's no way we're going to change this, we are not up for any sort of uh, discussion, and we'd have to, I guess, find plan B. But it seems like there's at least a, um, you know, an agreement to continue to discuss. Mm -hmm. Yes, please. You know, one thing you got my vote. Yeah. yeah, me too. I want a site visit. I want it. Before winter. <laughs> so by downgrading, hypothetically in 10 years, there's no more hauling, there's no more blasting. We can make it so that it comes back to the town that's in class right. four, if, so that we're we not losing it. As a if we declass or downgrade it to a trip, trip. Yep. then it's still town property. And we can reclass it. Right. And there may be less three. hassle with the state if, if, yeah. if that goes. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We can reclassify it as need be. Yeah. We could build it up to a class three road if we wanted to. Um, yeah. Driving it all day long. Mm. Anything we want. 
Yeah. But it's Which still. We won't. Which <laughs> you're gonna, you're, you're not gonna be involved. Can we? That's all right. But we, we see it from a satellite view. If it's a subject of discussion, you know, for us, so then then you guys plow it and maintain it. Yeah, you got a lot of nice yeah, buildable yeah, land out there, don't you? Look at all those trees. trees. That, yes. We're making. I'm trying to figure out what is one of that new one. Don't classify it as as long as it doesn't. We can breathe out now. If we discontinue, we give up all. Right. I don't think that, so I think Kevin has understood the fact that yeah. no one is interested in discontinuing any of our roads. Yeah. It's, a reclassi be, it's a reclassification is what I think that we're willing to have a discussion about. I'd be curious to know if it dead ends or if, it, if everything else has been thrown up or if it does continue. Yeah, that's, so that's something that the town would be important to learn about. What we, yeah, I mean, so. From well, the trust will certainly got in the way the last time uh, somebody tried to drive down through there. Yeah. yeah. So, but that was an 18 wheeler. Yeah. <laughs> Monty, I will say when we mapped North Wood, Northern Woodbury for the U.S. Geological Survey in 2014, those were walkable roads mm. and easily identified. Right. I wouldn't take an ATV on them at that point. It's printed. This is it's been some years ago. But those are we pulled those locations off of old town maps. Mm. So they are classified connecting roads. Classified four? Mm -mm. I think they're, I don't know how they're classified. I just know that I had lines on a map that I could follow. Right. Mm -hmm. They're really aren't any, except for that little section. There's one, one on section. Lake, there's no other roads in town that are classified as a trail. As a trail. There are some that so, class four roads that. Probably but be. there are lines on a map okay. that are trackable with a GPS and a compass. Mm -hmm. So that's something that we have to review. But those maps. But those are really. And sometimes, you know, the most dodgy. of those maps were made from information from the town, and then actually finding, if somebody were to challenge it, finding stuff like that in the town records can be a real bugaboo. Mm -hmm. uh, but a lot of it is there. Yes. And, yeah. yeah, as far as surveys have been done, so it's, mm -hmm. it's um, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so it's not impossible. It's definitely a road all the way around. It's a road all the way around. So obvious. they are, so Monty, mm -hmm. short answer, they are connected roads, okay. yeah. as far as my recollection. Yeah, and you pop out into yeah. what we refer to as the turnaround. As the turnaround. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You pop out into the turnaround. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you so, can actually follow those roads all the way to Buck Lake. Yep. There are old yeah, roads really? that go all the way to Buck Lake okay. that are walkable roads. Oh. They're dodgy, yep. but they're walkable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They continue for quite a while. Yeah. There's a lot of old, I mean, some of them are skidder tracks, but a lot of them have been roads that people used on mm -hmm. and off for years and years and years. Yeah. Yeah. So you know? one thing that I use personally is LiDAR mapping. Yep. You can and see we have good LiDAR for the town, finally, now. Really? Yep. Mm -hmm. LiDAR will give you LiDAR will give us more definition. Mm -hmm. You guys don't have that yet? It's my fault. The old, I have some sets of old topo maps um, yeah. before the trees come. <laughs> yeah, it's like looking at an old topographic map, no trees, just grayscale, mm -hmm. and you'll see the scars of old roads. Mm. So, yeah. so LiDAR works really well. I'm sorry you don't have those, but I promise I'll get them to you. Okay. My fault. That would be great for the town to have, actually. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Chuck, I'm sorry. I interrupted you. So does that mean you kind of thought that that sediment bond for, I don't know what you call it, but a sediment bond may cross that road or go out into that road? Depending yeah, on that And you would, build, you would build the trail around it? Well, that, that seems like that would be the request. We can't, mm -hmm. if we... There's not going to be a discontinuation of that section right. of road. Okay. So, right. so we'd have to, to have a to, causeway or a bridge. To change it to a recreational on. trail, you know, what we want to see is, okay, they're going to come back with a size, a space, you know, soil samples to make sure we're in the right area, and then how that impedes uh, or impinges on the established route. Right. What would we be able to do? Maybe just a little jog that goes around it. It may... Yeah, well, we're just trying to prepare that if we start yeah. this process, we could potentially... Yeah. And that would be, uh, I'm not sure needed would be the right uh, word, but that piece of land that went around that pond would actually be the town of Woodbury's to go over that road. 
That could be part it of the, could that would be. have to be part of the conversation. Yeah, there. it could be because uh, yeah, we're rerouting a town, so a town sort road. of like we did at the top of Old Quarry, of Old Quarry Road. Oh, if they made a, I hope it ain't that big. Of <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, we'll be dealing with some. Uh, uh, no more eight thousand dollars or fifteen thousand dollars or oh god. Yeah. Well, and yeah. Brandy said it. That road became very important during. Yeah. I mean, that's why. Well, I don't that's think how we got to this. That's why we allowed ourselves to get screwed. Yeah. Um, <laughs> good way. Mm. <laughs> oh. uh, I remember first year they get there was uh, the <laughs> homeowner there that you drove through their yard were a little surprised I think at the traffic but you know they were sort of uh, unheard of time you know that was the hundred year storm and right yeah that's allowed us to get to the top. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Tell you did your trucks use that road? No, oh, no we oh, can't okay. tell mm. They went through the yeah. the other way. Yeah. Uh. So the the whole point was just to, to, to start the discussion and mm -hmm. get what I think is, is more than enough mm -hmm. and uh, yeah we'd like to continue talking about this. What I can do is go back again to our consultant and, and say well, how is this uh, how could this potentially lay out, come in with maps, a proposal and, and mm -hmm. go that route. Thank you, Kevin. So, I appreciate you giving yeah. me the time tonight and popping me in. We like appreciate this. you being here. Um, next time I'll definitely Million. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's worked out well. Yeah. Okay. You've got my number. All right. Yes. Appreciate it. Thank you all. Thank you, Kevin. Have a good night. Take care. Thanks. Safe drive back. Thank you. Good luck biking. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank you. 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 Thank I'm, I'm not for you. No. <laughs> <laughs> she has one. That's what's making this trip. Okay. <laughs> Take care, Mrs. Father. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> okay, so um, that was a good conversation. Uh, we're a little bit late in our timing, but mm -hmm. we would be good to jump into the town highway report. Chuck. Okay, well, you got Westwood Berry winter snow plowing. I haven't. Between trying to get a hold of Dave Upson and being busy, I haven't done it yet. Okay. I will this week. Um, we are all geared up to plow it ourselves. We're going tomorrow after winter tires for the low pro. And we're going to stud them and get everything ready. So that should be a done deal. You, right. you said you had a change on the tires to request? We found six new tires with wheels, aluminum wheels, down wow. in Chester for 2600 bucks. Wow. And they're studded? Or? No, we you have to have those studded. Oh, okay. But that, no, we can yeah. do that ourselves. Mm. Uh, we had prices on new wheels, they were. Two hundred and ninety bucks a piece plus tax. Well, we don't mm -hmm. play tax, yeah. but I would have to. So, two hundred and ninety bucks a piece, uh -huh. and the tires were four hundred and eighty dollars a piece. Gracious me! So, <clears throat> we've saved almost two grand on. Yeah, it. really. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Great. Sounds like a really creative solution. So we're basically okay. set to just do Westwood Bear on our own. Yeah, we're, we're definitely going to do it. We still need to talk to David Upson because we got some money issues. I would, it, uh, and yeah. we got some <laughs> friendship we issues. We got some issues. We got some issues. <laughs> All right. Fair yeah. enough. Um, like I say, I've been right out straight. Mm -hmm. Just haven't had a chance to do it. No, nope, you're yeah. fine. Um, All right, so uh, roadside dumping? I don't know anything about that. Okay. No, I think we've already talked about this to a degree. Yeah, the <laughs> There's some abandoned furniture. Mm -hmm. Oh. Right? It, does the school board plan on doing anything about finding out who put it there and what could we do? Call them up. What do you think? <laughs> well, what should we do? Is it whose property is it on? It's not on the property that the people the put thing is, is if you don't stop it or make a rule on it, it's just going to keep happening. Oh, and well, we have to look at it. Happen, yeah, we got to. Happen. We, we've got to. <laughs> and it's not the only place. There was a refrigerator on Dog Pond. There was. There are many roadside dumping areas on the back roads in mm -hmm. Newbury. Okay. Um, usually we clean them up on Green Up Day. We try to That's do our best. Long wait. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, 
So anyways, whose property is it on? Somebody from Massachusetts or Connecticut, I don't oh, know. Great. But it they... came from the property across the road. How do we know that? Russell just, Richardson just, just, just tell me. saw him do it. <laughs> okay. So did it come off of the property that was... Uh, Shane the... Blake. Okay, that one. Okay. So there's a new owner there. Yeah. There's and they threw some stuff place. on the other okay. side of the road. Yeah. Okay. So we know to, who to contact to tell them to... And I think... You should send them a certified letter and say, yeah. clean your mess up. Okay. okay. As long as we know. And if that doesn't happen, I mean, we can go up and get it, but. Send them send a bill. Them a well, still send them a bill. They won't pay it. Or but, throw it back on the lawn. That's what that Miss Brandy just said. <laughs> <laughs> so Chuck and Miss Brandy agree on that one. They're going to say. We're cool. just going to back it back down and dump it on the lawn. Certified letter. Exactly. Certified letter and a couch. Well, well, <laughs> you could add it to the camper down at the garage. Yeah. And then yeah. we could unload on a green up day yeah. for free. Yeah. Camper? Yeah. The one we yes. moved out of the class four road. Class four road. Top of the whole they road. never came and got it? No. Oh my God. They but they paid the. <laughs> <they paid it. laughs> of course they didn't pay. They moved on up. I, I'm next. Actually, I came to talk to Highway, address Old Town, Old Quarry Road a little bit, at that trailer section there. Yeah. Because um, mm. I'm like 20 acre part to. Coleman told me with a little driveway on. Oh, so. Okay. So um, those people are super close to my driveway. They're and super close a, to everything. And that's a little half acre log with like technically I think I counted one, two, three, four, five town roads either by trisecting it or surrounding it. And uh, I saw it in the August minutes, I think August days or something like that. Said that the trailer was 25 feet from the center line, which was okay. And I talked no, to the neighbor. No, I didn't say that. Wait a minute. It said 25 feet of what road? <laughs> I yeah. it's 25 feet from the center of Old Quarry Road. I didn't say it was okay. Yeah. I said I didn't have any jurisdiction on it because it was out of the town right away. Not a town right away. It was out of the town right away. He said it's out of it's the town right away. just barely out of the town right away. Uh, for so that road. as a road commissioner, yeah. I have no jurisdiction over it. Okay. The town certainly does, but I don't. Okay. Because it's definitely not 25 feet from the center of Old Quarry. That's what my neighbor and I were talking about. I'm like, mm, 25 from the center of Cabot. Old, you know, Cabot Road. No. Old Quarry. It was. But I don't know about the right way. So I'm, I'm sure you know. <laughs> but the other question I have. Uh, that Excuse me, also, what's your name? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. My name's Alan. Alan Robel. W R O B E L. Okay. So I'm at 810 Old Quarry Road. Mm -hmm. And so I have one concern, which I guess I can see that things are not easy to change. So if I have, <laughs> if I have hardwood electric come in, which I would like to do at some point in the near future, put a pole in. So they would probably want to tap into the pole that's at the corner of where the road sign is now, old port, that, and then come down on whatever is 253 feet. Mm -hmm. I want to make sure that like <laughs> they can access that road and do that because. The okay. people that own that land now, they kind of, you know, they come and go and they park sometimes and they're like, tonight, I, when I came down tonight, the guy, you know, I don't really care, but I kind of do. He's, you know, repairing his truck in the middle of Old Quarry Road. Which and Old Quarry Road, the new one or the old one? No, the old one, Old Quarry Road. Okay. Old, 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 old Quarry Road. Road. Okay. Not the, some new not designations the wouldn't hurt us so the, at but some point. Chuck did move the sign, right? No. no. I've asked him, it hasn't happened. <laughs> okay. But that doesn't change the, the right of way on no. the, the no, it is, it is, The it lower does. the lower part where the sign is going to be moved to is Old Quarry Road, and the other one is going to be called Town Highway, whatever right, road it is. Right. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we don't have to have a sign for that one. <laughs> and then my other concern Just for so then, conversation. You know, then kind of drop the weather, obviously. Yeah. And so where they park is at the fork. Of the spur road, mm -hmm. well, the spur road and the old quarry road, and then I think it's maybe 29. 29. I don't remember which one curves right. up around the old cabin. Road. That's the old cabin road. The old cabin road. road. Yeah. So they're parking. They've been stuck a few times. They're parking right there. Don't they need to have like a driveway? Uh, yes. Is that your I would say. So yeah. they have to park they do. the driveway because they're parking cars all over the place. And the one that's on cabin road, that's like a storage. I think it's kind of the worst driveway. That car doesn't move. <laughs> 
Don't tell me that. And don't you have to have a collision? I was at a collision. Yeah. 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 To get off a road? What? They ain't off the road. Well, I'm saying, they're they're just, like I said, they're not off the road for sure. They're no, they can't on, get off the road. They're on like all three roads. There's nowhere for them to get to because it's like. They don't own a third of an acre. It the used to be like leveled and filled with 5,000 yards or something. I don't know. As far as I'm concerned, the town should spend some money and help them sue Coleman Parker. <laughs> <laughs> Help them what? Help them sue Coleman Packer yeah. for selling. Good idea, because you know what? I've been asking them about Coleman, and they seem happy with Coleman right yeah. now. But yeah. you know what? I'm yeah. not happy with Coleman because yeah. I have Nobody trust. should be happy with Coleman. I have a concern that when I no, bought that is. When <laughs> bought that land, he showed me that little parcel, and he said, you want that? For $10,000. I said, what do I want that for? I said, you should just throw that in mm -hmm. as a little bonus to my... 28 is yeah. extraordinary on the price anyways, and hmm. he stole my stone wall, and he found the foundation, he took all kinds of uh, topsoil, and, you know. Who did that? Cold. Cold. Oh, okay. And, you know, a 30-day closing went to uh, 120 yeah. days, and, oh, you know, oh, oh, oh. he just wanted me to, you know, take my hmm. $5,000 deposit and keep it, I guess. I don't know what he wanted. But, um, he showed me various plot plans for that. Isn't that like a, uh... It shouldn't have been sold. It's a subdivision. Yeah. Right? It, 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 well, when he, when he bought it from, when yeah, he bought, bought it, it yeah. from uh, Ainsworth, Ainsworth years ago, yeah. at that point, it should have been, had a subdivision permit, and it never would have been allowed because it's not three acres. Right. But that was, yeah. but anyways, yeah, yeah, it's it's not a legal lot, and legal he lot. shouldn't have sold it, but. So sue him. Yeah, who does that? Like, like I guess this is my curiosity. So, like, you know, I'm from kind of Massachusetts, <laughs> and I know Massachusetts mm -hmm. really well on the laws, like for this kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And I know New Hampshire made a little bit because I researched made New Hampshire, Vermont, and I wouldn't buy in Massachusetts. It's too expensive. And I thought, oh, Vermont, the Green State, Act 250, you know, all these you know green do-gooders and the Subarus, and you know they're running off the road, and like, okay, well, I guess. Must be kind of legit. Never and it seems to me that it's like anybody can do anything and then the agreed for party has to pursue them? It doesn't make any sense to me. Like there's no the way rules and regulations mm. that are applied. As a person from the outside coming into Vermont, I said, Well my old town twenty years ago yeah, we call Title V the septic system. Oh my gosh, the, the Board of Health lady, a little tiny town like this, a thousand people. Or to help, talk, talk, talk. Where, where's your toilet? What, what are you doing out here? You can't camp out here for more than a week or two. Like, what are they doing? They're wasting their water. And they have authority. That board of health lady comes and she's like, you're, you're condemned. Mm -hmm. You're out of here. This is condemned. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a simple one. Uh, the septic. This is what confused to me. Mm -hmm. uh, my installer, great guy, did a great job, I think. He installed it and then the installer is the one that inspects it. <laughs> that, that authorizes it. Like, I sign off on my work. I'm like, wait a minute. Okay, Massachusetts to get back to them. They have to go back and have an engineer come back and do a thing called the as built plan. And then that board of health lady or woman. So you're talking about up. now your property or? Yeah, well, in Massachusetts. States. So I'm, oh, I'm saying, like, I was giving some I nice examples of forward and not doing right. I thought Vermont would be really, you know. So you have a design septic system on your yes. property? Oh, yes, I have and a well the, and the designer. And the designer. what I'm doing without having the designer, water source. The me? designer went back and did the final inspection? After the it was installed, installed? The installer did. The, the installer, installer did the final inspection. And, actually, and he I certified that he installed it according to the plan. Yes. And, the installer and you don't think that was right? Actually, well, that's a state law. law. He kind of ticked me off the other day because he's an addict woman now, too. Of course. And his dad. He <laughs> said, supposed to be a 250 feet boundary from the sun to the you know, boundary. I'm like, oh, really? Yeah. Well, I got my map out and I submitted just a week ago my zone and permit. And I, I put a note on there for. Well, I guess it is to let me know if this is legit because the spring is about 140 feet from what I think is the next lot. I think he sold that. I mean, he does funny things like, you know, sells things and then they're not really sold. Mm -hmm. People, I didn't buy anything. No, I didn't sell anything up there. Well, I hear it different. So I'm very, very confused and mm. concerned about it. And I think, like, maybe the crown doesn't need to like, kind of step it up one day or something. I don't really know.
I have no idea. The town really needs to step it up. I, well, the no, town kind of needs to step yeah. it up. Also, well, we need to have some specific. Also has a class 29 road on it too. Oh, yeah. Town yeah. Highway 29. Oh, yeah, Highway 29. It goes right. on his property, also halfway on the fields. Spur Road, Old Corn Road up the middle, yeah. Cow Path yeah. Road, and Cabot Road. That's one, two, three, four, five yeah. roads. Yeah, I know. And that one little section, it doesn't seem legit. Like, I, I would bump it, it up to the state level. Like, the Act 50 district wants to say, dude, you guys come in and you examine all these mm -hmm. transactions. Because, like, I've only been there, you know, a year and a half. But, I'm like concerned about my like my equity and stuff is like screwed in there right now. Whatever <laughs> equity I got, I mean, part of my French. You're not the only person that feels that way about your property. You know, that's the neighbors. Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, I'm sure a real estate yeah. agent is saying, don't so even the good, right well, now. The good news is that we now have a health officer, although oh, we're, yes, we have good. to first uh, have this. To have the chairman sign the paper tonight and send it to the state because the state has to be the one to. Uh, oh, who's that? Who's uh, his name is Joshua Corn and he just bought a place on Buck Lake Road. Good. He's a doctor. Very nice guy, but he has no clue what he's getting into. <laughs> well, and I told him, I said, thing. you know, you're not going to be helping people with their health. You're going to be doing enforcement. So, yeah. Good. So that's a start. Oh, there you Speaking of those old um, USGS maps, I, I did a lot of. You know, looking around before I purchased. And so I looked at the 1984, I think that's like the newest one I've seen or I could find online or whatever. I did an overlay of all kinds of stuff, all these different satellites, you know, probably five different layers. And on the USGS, which is really interesting, in the vicinity of that home, that 20 acre, that, where that spring comes out and Old Ford Road and Hammer, that sh map actually shows that that's the source or some kind of stream or river or something. Kingsbury Branch. That goes mm -hmm. down into the, I mean, it seems kind of wide to me because like, what happened to that? Is there any water, there? is there any water running down along the so It's all subsurface no, water. Kingsbury goes over through the Buck Lake. Yeah, it's all subsurface water. Thank you guys, water. we appreciate you being here. I, I blocked it up this summer because I, I was flooding out the road. Like there's a little mm -hmm. waterfall that comes at certain times of the year, a little tiny oh, thing. Uh -huh. And it, we're washing with the road and it's mm -hmm. washing the whole road away. Mm -hmm. So I blocked up the culvert that in the property, like a little swale. Mm -hmm. and, well, they did a pretty good job, I guess. We're a swale in the culvert and on the property. And I blocked up that and that kept all the water up on my land all summer. And it didn't create that waterfall, which I think is kind of bad for the road. Um, but it seems to me that maybe there was, he did a lot of... There was moving, a regular stream. Dirt around up there, there was a regular forward. stream system that ran through there. And if you're looking at the mm -hmm. old USGS maps from the 80s, mm -hmm. yeah. there's an actual stream system oh. that, came through, that yeah. came through there. I, I believe it, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Because my, my spring, where they, they dug it like right where that is. Where it would have been. Mm -hmm. The water is gushing out of the ground most of the time. Right? Yep, well, because it's right a... Right now it's only about six inches. It's actually a, mm -hmm. that, that's a seep spring. Yeah. It's a naturally artesian spring. All right. Well, you know, I kind of just want to make sure everybody's yeah. aware. Of um, kind of doing more. And, well, so we're, you need well, to know. Uh, I'm sorry. No, go ahead. I think the dry what kind of what kind of violations can you can you point out anything that's a violation? Like if there's unregistered vehicles. Or if there's sewage running on the ground, that your sewage smells. It was funny today. I was out in my driveway there, and it's like, oh, look, it must be like an orange tree over there. What is that? And like, cut a little closer. Wait a minute, that's a shower tent. Like, okay, that's just nuts. In another, you know, two weeks, I'm just gonna be like watching these people. I already, I already monitor their life. Mm -hmm. It's pretty confrontational as it is right now, because like uh, a few weeks, no. Last weekend, or about a week and a half ago, I put up, I put up some, uh, the trespassing signs. They wanted to, like, take a little kid. Yep. I mean, they have two dogs in that trailer all day long. Mm. I think people. I've heard that before. Oh, yeah. That's a second. Oh, and then let the second. dog out. The dog basically That's two. attacked me mm -hmm. and my wife. Two times, two different people. Yeah. Okay. And as soon as I put those signs up, the next three days in a row and nights, I had Cookie, which is a little crazy dog. Like, he's crazy. And then the other dog, like, no, no, no. my wife's like, get that dog out of here. We're going to shoot my, shoot that dog. I'm not going to shoot that dog. And, um, so that's their dogs. That's their, their dog. dog. Yeah. They have two dogs. 
They let them locked out out. Mm -hmm. all day long in that little trailer. Every time a car goes by, mm -hmm. old quarry or something goes slow, or, uh -huh. you know, people walk by occasionally, take a walk mm -hmm. or a bike ride. And they bark and bark. Today, they come, and they come from work and the dog barks for like an hour. One of them really mm -hmm. barking. Like, I'm trying to read. Well, we do have a nuisance ordinance. Oh, it's definitely a nuisance. And, um, but we have to have a complaint. <laughs> I think we have a complaint. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay. really? That's all we need? It's okay. Yeah, yeah. It's just like, uh, like I'm concerned that it's just going to get worse. But well, we do. It's not going to get any better. And then, you know, as soon as the snow comes, you know, some. They claim they're going to live there this one. I parked at that turn, you know, the spur road and. Jessica, Judge, Judge Wells parked in the spur road sometimes. It's mm -hmm. easier to go and walk down or sled down. And they already got one spot tied up. Well, I, I guess everybody's got a little bit of a right to, you know, park on that spur road. But they take two spots and then I take one spot and there's no spot mm -hmm. for anybody's company or anything. And I do, I have shoveled last winter when the snow was not bad. I actually shoveled to get down to my property. Huh. So I was able to drive occasionally. Maybe we need to invest tires. in a sign company and make no parking signs. Yeah. I think that we right have everywhere. to. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's fine, but I think that there's some things that we have to address in here directly. There's we've heard, we've heard, we've heard, we've heard enough. Yeah. And just, actually, it's like this really is just, we appreciate I'm this. Glad you got if, you, if you could, if you could write a complaint yeah, yeah. about the dogs, that would be very helpful because then we have something to transfer right. to the dog uh, warden, not just uh, hearsay. Oh, yeah, I thought about calling yeah. them like, on Labor Day weekend. Something like I wrote this weekend again. You know, I had the horse thing last summer. <laughs> right. um, they so, bought a brand new so, horse yeah. like in May or April or something. Next thing I know is this big horse trailer up there on the Spur Road. It's like, I'm going to have my flashlight. Elizabeth comes up with a little friend, and they got like a little cell phone light. I'm like, is you, this is your horse? And no, no, it must be Elizabeth. Anyways, they bring the horse down, and the next day, the very next day, it was like a Saturday night, at 9 o'clock at night, 9, 10 o'clock in the morning. That little, not even a full horse, it was a pony. That thing was on Cabot Road, grazing, and I had, I called my family. He's like, what, again? I said, yeah. but I don't think she has horses anymore, so... It's just like, you know, it's the horses and all these people. Don't know. You don't think there's any horses there anymore? Is I that what you said? I don't think so, okay. no. I heard that she did. Well, you would have seen. Yeah. I Jezebel's seen. got a mule and a... She yes. calls that a mule pony. Yeah. yeah, they're fine. They seem good. They own Jones uh, uh, fenced in, you know, mm -hmm. attic down there and mm -hmm. stuff. And she seems to take care of her mm -hmm. animals. And mm -hmm. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. We'll have to talk to Jonah. What's that? We'll have to talk to Jonah. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, her mules are fenced in on Jonah's property. On Jonah's property. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. 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 Huh, how'd that happen? And not traveling around. Um, oh, I think she did. They're just talking to each other around. Like, I think they're just you know, being, they're just being kind of friendly. And stuff, and yeah. then we like keeping them the, the mules, of course. So, so. Oh, the, you know, yeah. so if you don't mind putting some of this stuff in writing and sending it to the select board, right. that would right, be right, terrific, right. Alan. Okay. If you don't so, mind doing that. Do you think that at some point Coleman had to submit a zoning permit? Because I have this thing that has, you know, like five lots up. Like my lot is split into the, the horse mm -hmm. lot that Elizabeth has, and my lot is split into mm -hmm. like a 40 acre thing, it's split into three. Yeah. It's a big area for the little kids. I'm have pretty sure he got. Subdivision on I'm pretty sure he did get permits. And he says, you know, so the plot says, lots. just the plot plan, but these are, but it's not the right layout. <laughs> okay, well. Okay, sure. No, mm -hmm. so I, and now that I know more about the zoning permit classes, I like I read my essay. Okay. okay. Yeah, done a zoning permit or something. I don't know. So he got, I'm pretty sure he got a permit to make those subdivisions, and um, you got a permit to build on your land, right? Right. Oh, and that reminds me, because I, I, I'm not sure like how devious this whole thing really is, because. <laughs> Uh, I'm pretty, I'm pretty well educated and an engineer and stuff, and so I did my due diligence. And during the whole negotiation thing that went on for months, or the closing, I called up the um, state, the wastewater. I guess that's in like DEP or something. Mm -hmm. And I got a, a wastewater. I got a permit specialist, mm -hmm. and I explained to him the exact scenario very clearly. I had it was a four-acre uh, wastewater permit design. And basically, it's grown with a slight change in the boundary. 
this existing there to a 20 acre. And he said, oh, they need to do an amended permit. I said, oh, really? Yeah. Aaron, Aaron Form, uh, yeah. uh, this guy, wastewater specialist, they probably even said to me, you know, the yeah. name so. Does mm -hmm. he need to do an amendment? No, no, we don't use amend permit. I'm going to section blah, blah, blah. I said, okay. You, you're, these guys are the experts. He pretty much knows what he's talking yeah, about. Yeah, I said he knows what he's talking about. And I did go and look at it and said, mm -hmm. okay, yeah, mm -hmm. adding way, I changed it by it. Okay, yeah, probably. It's not, but you I weren't changed, changing any of the, moving any of the, of the uh, septic or water, right? No, they stayed where they were. So. But it was interesting that you didn't put those features, which I consider pretty significant geographic features, on the plot plan of the registered deed at the town hall. So when Coleman and Aaron, whoever registers that plot plan, my plot plan, on January mm -hmm. 7th or 8th or 9th or something of 2021, existing a spring well, brand new, and septic mm -hmm. brand new by engineer. Mm -hmm. It doesn't show up on that It wouldn't plane. be, you know, it wouldn't be in a survey. If he had a survey, it would be the, on a plot plan that would be with the zoning permit. Right, and that's what so those are me. Those are filed separately from the maps in the That's why I'm confused if I want to make sure that the next, the western boundary, a little bit further down mm -hmm. Old Boring Road that, you know, I'm looking at is really far enough away from my spring. If it's off by 100 feet, we get a serious problem. Mm -hmm. Then the next owner is going to say, well, wait a minute, 100 feet goes into a big chunk of wooden land buffer, mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. the field, so. Could we continue? Yeah, 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 yeah. This, yeah, this, yeah this is yeah. a conversation that we have to have. So I'm sorry. It's so, yeah, it's yeah. It's a, a Alan, thank meeting. you very much for your All concerns. Right. I appreciate and it. If you want to come to the next meeting, uh, call well, the office and they'll put you on the agenda. Put the agenda. Yeah, yeah. I, will. I will definitely. Okay. All right, great. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Have a good night. Yeah, you too. Michael, sorry. No, that's okay. I just. It's yep, just I know. It's getting late. I agree. It was getting on. Yeah, I've already been a half hour ago. Yeah, uh, so, <laughs> so, yeah. So uh, Michael's gonna... next on the agenda oh. Okay. for the uh, municipal road general permit. I'm not even sure why I put that on there, but I guess we got well, something in the mail. Because I asked about Valley Lake Road. Yeah. Oh. No. Okay. Um, no, okay. Yeah. Two different things. So what we need to do, Chuck, um, with that is to contact the trans and they'll come and do a site visit. You can tell them what um, you want to do and they'll have their thoughts on the matter um, and then we're all set to do we'll take some photographs before and I assume that you're going to do the work next year or do you want to try to do it this fall? No, no, it'll have to be next year. Yeah, okay. So that's what we need to do with that uh, general road, with the grant that we got. So that's, so you, so we did, if we're talking about the Valley Lake Road now. We're talking about East Hill Road. East okay. Hill Road. Okay, no. Okay. Oh, no. Okay. No. Are you, East Hill is going to be next spring, yes. Yeah. Okay, that's yes. the municipal roads general permit. The, the a new road on Valley Lake um, Road, the, um, what we need to do, we've had it surveyed, we need to get a, uh, someone to design the road. And you said that that wasn't going to happen unless there was a grant, right? Because it's not, no, I didn't say it's that. not permitted. I mean, it's not budgeted. It's, well, we don't have a... What we would have to do is look at... Um, maybe get an idea of what that would cost that would and, cost and put it on next year's budget. You were just saying, we got a budget coming right up. So yeah, we're talking about get this. Get ready this, to dig in. Yeah. This is, this is uh, so, uh, yeah, that's, appropriate I, conversation. I didn't understand that. I thought you said it was only going to happen if there was a grant. No, I, I didn't say that. <sighs> no, I didn't write it. No. Um, and then, you know, I, I thought this was something entirely different. Is that we did get a notice. Where are these mosquitoes coming from? They seem to like me. Probably the door. Is yeah, it the door? door. door. Yeah. Mind if I shut it? Please. Please. No. I think I'm the first human body they find. So. <laughs> <laughs> You're head of the class. Um, this is one that he's going to So okay. I just got a notice, I think uh, Robin sent it to me, um, that the state VTRANS DEC, they are uh, redoing the Municipal Roads General yes. Permit. Um, and they would like uh, us to uh, look at the revisions um, and um, make any suggestions or any comments on uh, the new permit. Um, 
You said uh, something they have to do every certain number I, of years. Every three years. Every three years. So it's kind three of years. Three years. Formal, right? right? So, but yes, but we have been able to, at least looking back at old, old stuff that we've done in the past, we actually have been able to influence this to a degree. Really? Yeah. Small wow. towns actually do have an influence oh, on this, and great. so if we get on it, we we, have to we can't help ourselves. 24. 24. And, yeah. You know, initially when they set this up, they went around and had road foreman forums, mm -hmm. different places, mm -hmm. um, so the road crews could come and, and offer their input. Um, it doesn't sound like they're doing that this time around. Um, I could try to find out. Um, the same person is involved with it, this fellow named Jim Ryan, who's a good, you know, a good yeah. guy. Yeah, a yeah. guy. We, uh, you so, guys did I mean, get I together send, at some point, right? I could send a new um, permit to you and Greg. Um, we could look at it ourselves. I think um, it would be nice if we looked at it all yeah. together. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We, we could discuss it at the next select board meeting. That would be terrific, long. if you don't mind. We met with Jim Ryan. Jim Ryan, yeah. Uh, I should have brought it up when I was talking, and then we got kind we got, of waylaid. Yeah, we got waylaid. Uh, <laughs> Go ahead. Well, we met with Jim Ryan and another one about Buck Lake. Yes. And that's they grow. Yep. They want to do some work to it. Right. I, um, Ali has talked to us about that in the past. And the, the Ali is not really involved in it okay. now, I guess. There's yeah. another young gentleman, I can't remember his name. But mm -hmm. They're going to have V-Trans come work. up and do the work okay. and put the gravel in. Mm -hmm. And Greg and I are going to be involved in getting it the way we want it. Okay. So they have to get a permit for that. I mean, that's what started that whole thing with Coleman was he started working on a town road without getting the par the uh, town's permission. Well, which we was give, you were involved. We can give him permission. We can give Fish and Wildlife yeah, permission. Right. It's, 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 a state, it's a state <laughs> facility. Yeah. It's a state facility. Yeah. Right. But it's a town road. It's a town road. That's Off the to point. A point. It's yeah, a town, I mean, no, it's a town road all the road way to the end. The town. Um, oh, I think it's a good thing, but they yeah. just have to get... Yeah, we do need to yeah. give them... They need well, to get it's, it's not going to gonna happen until spring, so they've right. got time. But we yeah. met with them, and they're going to... They want to do some ditching and a couple of culverts, and uh, they want us involved to make sure that it's up to standard for class four roads mm -hmm. and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And I think it's a great deal. Yeah, yeah really. Yeah. It is a great deal. Foolish not to take advantage of it. Mm -hmm. yeah. And v trans should know what they're doing, I don't know. I would think he just <laughs> wanted to have us up there just to mm -hmm. check it out. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. No, it's he crazy. actually think he's a decent guy. Well. I, yeah. Yeah. yeah, you know, Jim's a decent guy. He is. I like him. Yep. Yeah, Jim is. He's Jim's a really decent. So guy. Jim Ryan actually, was involved with this yeah. one too. And he's yeah. a he's a really good road engineer, but he mostly works on really simple, flat, straight roads. Yeah, well, okay. so are you talking don't. about somebody else? He's not talking about Jim Ryan. Yeah. He, he pretty much oversees the municipal road general permit and the, the work that's done. Um, that's his. Yep. That's his um, he he's worked a, he's for great. a town. I forgot which one he said. Somewhere over around. He lives in Wolcott. He lives in Wolcott. Wolcott. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't know. He worked for town for a lot of years, haven't I? Mm -hmm. So it's he's, not Jim Ryan. you know, he's got yeah. pretty good idea that you put ditches in and. Keep the water out of the road, and you'll have good luck. But, I think you know. I think you guys are on the right track, but I agree with Miss Diana that we should probably make sure that we do have a permit. Oh, we're going to be in touch with him. He, and, he said he'd call us and have a look. Yeah, so. Jim. Jim will do that. So, Michael, anything else to add? You were on this agenda for general roads permit, like yeah no, I just roads permit to, like a, like an hour right ago that, we, that the permit is being um, re revived or revised or whatever um, okay. and that we'll, mm -hmm. that we are being asked to offer comments if we have any cool so. that's great mm -hmm. thank you and Chuck would you like me to contact um, the district uh, six friends so to get a take a look at East Hill Road or do you want to before winter or do you want to wait and Till the spring. Um, it's nice and dry right now. It is. That may be a problem though. 
It may be too dry. Yeah. <laughs> you think so? Because in the spring, there's a lot of water lanes mm -hmm. on that road. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. true. Mm -hmm. It's easy to review right now, is I guess yeah, what yeah. I was mm -hmm. saying. Yeah. But I'll let I mean, you having, know. Having it separate. reviewed now and, and getting their suggestions um, as part of the process um, and, and taking photographs, they like photographs before the work is done and after the work right. is done. Yeah, we can meet this fall. Okay. Uh, we'll, maybe we can set it up with the idea that they'll come back right after month season. Right. So they can really see what the problem mm -hmm. is. Yeah, we could. You could tell them all about it. <laughs> I could. <laughs> yeah. I, but yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I think I'll, this I'll, is a good. I mean, it would be great if we could get the process going now. At, well. We've already got the grant, so it's just a matter know, of getting everything laid into place. Right. In the spring, they may not be able to get up there to look at it. Right. <laughs> so let's get them up there now and have a peek. I'll get them up there in the spring. Yeah. <laughs> An adventure for them. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So I'll, I'll, I'll contact. Try to get that set up. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you like to do things first thing in the morning, pretty much? I mean, I'll let you know what times they're... Can I be included in that, please? Sure. I I, it. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Whatever. Okay. What days are good for you, Chris? Uh, if it's first thing in the morning, uh, Tuesday and Friday is the easiest. Okay. But, I mean, what are we talking about? First thing, first thing? What's first thing? The clock is kind of first thing for you trans. <laughs> Alright, so it's not going to be first thing for me. But me either. Right. Because right. I, I, teach, I start teaching at 8. So okay. first thing is not first thing. Well, I can see if they we have a different earlier, view. But... Either it's going to have to be that, or we can do something in the afternoon. I can't. I. I. I can't. Okay. Well, can you just include me? You guys figure it out. Pick a time. I'll we try can do to it get, in the afternoon. I'll try to get there. Can. I'll just get there as best I can. What time in the afternoon? Uh, I can be in the clear. Mondays, no. Uh, just. Point of time, okay. I'll make my way there. Right. So Sorry, my schedule is kind of a mess. Seven, you, how, it's a good 45 minute drive from here to, to Norway. Yeah, right? so if you guys have something rolling, if you meet at seven, I can be there to teach by nine. Okay. That's fine. I can make that work. That gives me an hour to hang out, meet with you guys, an hour to. Okay. Get my ass down to campus and get in the uniform and pretend like uniform. I know what I'm talking about. That's right. I have to. You I'm a pretend. A I'm a pretend military officer. No kidding. Yeah, I'm the Vermont militia. Really? You should wear See, your you uniform guys are to talking about transportation sometimes. right now in the roads. <laughs> mm -hmm. Can you put a fire under somebody's tush and get those road those holes on the Cabot Road they filled? Fill. They are filled. They fill them. I don't have to swerve tonight. Yeah. Really? They fill them today. Yep. Okay. I've been after them all summer. We finally did. <laughs> what about the one up at Town Farm? That one's done. Sweet. How about the one right across from the town office? Come on. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So the answer to yeah. that one is no. Yeah. We'll give you a shovel for it's that. It's the way they put that. Yeah, I don't, I'm, I'm gonna call it a blanket. Yeah, yeah. the skirting. skirting. I don't. Mm -hmm. I don't. Mm -hmm. It's been okay. brought to their attention quite a few times. It's like this, the apron they put down on the end of East Hill. Yeah. Yeah, it lasted about ten minutes. Yeah, I saw an oil mm -hmm. truck go up over there, coming from Callisway, making the corner and going up to mm -hmm. there, just spinning that dirt mm -hmm. right up out of there. That ain't gonna happen much longer. We just bought a barrel. Going down to be filled full core. Thank you. They're going to be have to get down around the corner and or either that or go up and turn around at the fishing access. Huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. We had a block in there last year. Mm -hmm. Statement mm -hmm. taken yeah. out. It worked great. It worked mm -hmm. It was actually pretty perfect. It did. Mm -hmm. But now we bought a plastic barrel, 100 and, I think it's 140 gallons. We're going to take it down and set it and fill it full of liquid chloride. That's so good. it won't freeze. So it can't freeze. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it won't get knocked over. If it does, somebody's going to have an awful rusty car right quick. <laughs> right quick. That's <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. Uh, all right. Michael, any other comments? No, I have nothing else. Thank you so much. Um, Chuck, any other comments? We're still technically on the highway department. Report. No, we're, I'm good. All right. Other business you have to deal with, and we've got a lot. Um, it's, it's interesting. Well, these are small things. All right, so uh, we have the CB Fiber letter and MOU that we previously approved. 
It's and then all it needs is I have to sign it. Signature. All right. I'm gonna read it and sign it after the no, meeting. No, you've already read it. I sent it to you on email. That's right. So <laughs> and I actually have to, just have to sign it. Uh, town health officer recommendation form. We've approved yeah. a new town health officer. Yeah. Um, well, but the state has but to. The state has to sign the form. That's and the I form. Have to sign for you to sign. Okay. Good. Um. So FEMA, I just wanted I, to yeah. let y'all know that the, that the federal government signed off on. Our FEMA project, Hazard Mitigation Grant Program. Um, so, according to the women that run the program, they said this was a big deal. It's, it's the first time, the first grant that went under whatever this particular program is that actually got through everything. So, that's good. Anybody want to look at it? It's got, it's. Um, is that the old store property? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And that will be filed with the box grant. That yeah, with I'll, the put, box I'll put that in the box. Bring that down. Close that out. The uh, speeding complaint that the woman keeps, um, her name is Giselle Eldred, and she keeps contacting me because I haven't responded. Um, I did. She said that the sheriff's department told her that the reason they don't come out so much is because we don't give them enough money and i know that's not true yes. so she told him again <laughs> she called contacted him again and he told her no that's not true um it said the only thing that he could suggest was that if there was more information about when traffic goes fast the you know, fastest by, time is people going to work headed yeah, south. Yeah. And then the next fastest time is people coming home from work. So yeah, it's not minutes. that simple. I could tell him that, I suppose. <laughs> he also said that because the big trucks make so much noise and they're so big, he said they're hardly ever caught speeding because the fines, you know, the the uh, Penalties on a CDL and on a company are very severe. Yeah. So even though it might seem that they're going 50 in a 40 mile an hour zone, they're. Was this Woodbury Lake? Yeah. Yeah, it's the perennial. Yeah. Everything you know, that's always complaints. Yeah. And people do speed. It's, it's definitely. There's yeah. No question about that. I told. I also told her she could. They could go back to the state and try to get that lowered again to maybe 35 instead of 40, but that's a hell of a process. It is. And, yeah, it, no and I don't think it's going to make it. any difference. Because yeah, right? exactly. I stand out there with my kids. Yeah. So you're they in get a picked up by the bus. Oh, okay. You're in a 50. I'm in a, yeah, I'm in a, I'm in a 50. Oh, they do. They do. Oh, my gosh, do they, they do. ever. <laughs> yeah, and so my kids are watching trucks go. Right? And not wanting to go to the mailbox. Yeah. Oh, well, I don't want them either. Really? I don't want to go to the mailbox. Yeah. I do it like late at night or very early in the morning. So when we first put in those warning lights, um, maybe after six months or so, Laura Daly was able to download the data from those. Yep. And you. Skip yeah, and, and Skip actually processed some of that data, right? Well, yeah, but he said now he can't. He yeah, doesn't. He's tried and hasn't been able to. Um, and if Skip can't do it, um, I don't know who, who mm -hmm. can. But um, we do have that initial information, and I, I, you know, it gives time, speeds. Um, so yeah. the thing that the sheriff is asking for, I'm sure it's pretty similar. Um, well, he also the state also sent me. Who sent me? Somebody sent me some stuff that the state provides. I well, guess there are speed. You, you know, there are these other speed yeah. warning signs. Mm -hmm. um, that you can rent for um, or monitoring uh, things to monitor. That's from the state. Those are the temporary ones they put yeah. on a trailer they with, usually, with the soil. You get those panel. through the Central Vermont Regional Planning Commission. And they would bring them for a week and collect that for a week. Of yeah. We did that for a number of different roads um, a number of years ago when I was first on the select board. So anyways, uh, she suggested, and the sheriff said that if they want to do those uh, speed recording tubes that they have from Central Vermont Regional Planning Commission, that that would be helpful for him. I don't know why he doesn't have the previous 
but I did contact the first the person. Uh, his name is I think Christian something. Okay. He sounds like he's new and he didn't really know what it was about, but he's going to look into it. Okay. So, anyways, that's that's all for her for now. The sheriff was down there last Friday night. Yeah. He was actually using a handheld. Yeah. Uh -huh. He was outside of his vehicle. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know if he caught anybody, yeah. but he was down there across the pond driveway. That's the best place to go. Yeah, yeah right around the lake. Yeah. yeah. So just a quick update on Cranberry Meadow. The uh, uh, <coughs> Conservation Commission has agreed to be the applicant for an application to the Woodbury Fund to put up a sign because the Vermont Housing and Conservation Board told me uh, at the last minute that they like to have some kind of local contribution. So I'm working with them on with the Conservation Commission on that and get that submitted. And I heard today from the Vermont Housing and Conservation Board staff that it looks pretty good that they'll be able to approve our application for $10,000 at their meeting on the 28th of this month. And also, the cemetery survey has been done uh, preliminary, well, it's preliminary because it's not final, but... Um, West Woodbury. Yes, West, Woodbury. West Woodbury. And um, I'm waiting to hear back from the cemetery commission if they want to put that well shield on there and if they want the surveyor to lay out some lots. So I told her to wait and see because... Is it she Lisa didn't, Jeanette? Lisa Jeanette, yeah. Lisa Jeanette. And uh, they did agree, you know, that they, according to the state law, they have to be five, 100, 200, 200 feet from the uh, burials, between the burials and the well. And I was thinking that the well was on the other side of the road, near the cemetery, so that Lisa would see it, but it's not. It's not. It's on, it's on the, the other side, side of the house. Yeah. So she's got to go back there and pinpoint that. And, but I told her to wait until I hear back something from the cemetery commission. Yes, I haven't. So. It's on the south side of the road. Yeah, it's over it's on the west side of the road. It's right on the west side of the road. It's been there a lot longer than that well. The what? The cemetery's been there a lot longer than that well. It's oh, the I extension know. of the cemetery. <laughs> and the reality is that that well was drilled. But it's still. Yeah, more but than it's that, there. That's the point. Yeah. It's there. But it's yeah. more than setback is required. Yeah. And that's what I told Lisa. Mm -hmm. so. I've got one other comment while you're on cemeteries. Yeah. The South Woodbury Cemetery looks like shit. Really? It ain't been mowed in about three months. Really? The grass down there is that tall. I was oh. up there Saturday. Mm. I thought we and had it's had disgraceful. Really? Well, mm. there is a contract. But the cemetery commission members are telling them when he can mow because they were feeling that he was more, mowing more often now than what he needed to. But doesn't well, he have a set price contract? It's not a, a per. It wasn't like per mow, right? There's five locations. Some they cemeteries were not getting mowed, but getting charged still. So. Now each of the members of the cemetery board go and check um, and take pictures and verify if, if he's doing it or not. Mm -hmm. Well, somebody better go to South Woodbury Cemetery because he ain't done it. And that's a three-year contract. And it's this a three-year. This is the second year of that contract. Uh, so. yep. And they and they said, well, I think no, never mind. Thank you for bringing it to our attention. We'll talk to the. In the contract, no, it states okay. that yeah. it states that um, if he's mowing more than once, he needs to contact the board. For verification, so he's not over mowing. More um, than once a week? A month. A month, okay. Is there anything in the contract if the town is dissatisfied yes. with? Okay. But so. I'd rather the select board meet with the cemetery commission to right. discuss yeah, that. Yeah, they want their own cool. person in there. Right. So we'll, we'll get a mode. Mm. Thank you for bringing it up. I haven't been up there, to be honest, but sorry that that's. that's On okay. the Cranberry Meadow tax bill? I still don't have Oh, sorry. Yeah, I got to tell you, send you that attorney. Suit. Yeah. Charles Martin and Martin Delaney and Martin Delaney. something, you know. Okay. 
So we were going to have a little executive session. Okay. So it is now five after eight, and we will move the Woodbury Select Board into executive session for appointment, employment, and evaluation of public officers and employees. Section VSA 313A3. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for your time and effort. Mm -hmm. Do you guys want me to? You can stay. I would like you to stay, Michael. Please. Mm -hmm.